Hello guys, this is Chirodip once again and you are watching Coach Java tutorial series. Uh, this is the part 5 of the Coach Java tutorial series and in this tutorial we are going to learn about global variable concept in Java. So let's start. I have, uh, this is the class A, A.Java and I have defined one global variable here uh, that is a static variable, integer type. So this is a global variable as you can see why it is called global variable because it's not under any kind of method or it's it's only in under of the class A only. So the whole um, all the methods of this class can access this variable directly so, and it is a, a static type of variable. So you will be getting more about the concept of static and non-static later in this tutorial. So this is a global variable and I have defined one method here test that is also a static type and uh, the method type is void and it is a static method I have the I have printed in uh, this i firstly and it's getting reinitialized by 100 and in the third line I have printed once again in the main method itself uh, I have printed i and I am called uh, the test method from the main method and I'm printing I once again. So what will be the output? Let's check it out. The output will be like this 0, 0, 100, 100. Why is getting like this? As you can see that all the global variables are initialized by their default values. As you can see that uh, I have written some notes about uh, property of global variable. So the properties are it does not require to initialize explicitly before users. Okay. So it's getting initialized automatically and it does not require to initialize explicitly before the user. And second is it gets default value based on the data type. For integer it will be a 0, for double it will be 0, 0.0 and for string it will be null and for boolean it will be false. And global variable can be used any of the method. Okay, Any of the method of that class, particular class can access the global variable. So here uh, you can see that from the main program, uh, from the main method, uh, I have printed i and the default value of i will be 0. So first it will print 0 and then test method will be called. Here also the value of i will be 0. So 0 will be called. Then i is getting modified by 100. Then it will print 100 and it will come back to this line and it will print 100 once again. So pretty simple. Now moving to the next program that is a uh, public class B. I have defined two static integer that is i and j and I have defined one test method. I am printing i and j and from main method I am calling the test method firstly. So it will it will print 0 and 0 firstly and as you can see i is getting modified by 1 and j is getting modified by 2 and then it will be called so the value will be changed. So what will be the output 0 0 and 1 and 2 pretty simple now moving to the next program that is I have defined three variables here one is integer i one is integer j equals to 10 and one is boolean flag so I am printing all the values and read the default values so it will print the default values and as j is initialized by 10 so it will print j equals to 10 and boolean value the default boolean value will be false so false and integer uh, variable i is getting zero so it's also very easy now moving to the next section here also uh, the output will be 10 and 20 why because that i have defined one integer variable i equals to 10 and one main method and here i am printing the i that is the 10 and i is getting reinitialized in this block so it's not the same is actually the local variable to i it, uh, sorry it's the local variable to the main method so here the value of i is 20 as because it is a local variable and here the ground rule one ground rule over here that is always local variables get more priority than global variables okay so
so remember this thing so i will be 20 and uh, if if we trying to print i this i is local to the main method this is not the i of the, this i so it will print 20 and it will not modify actually as you can see if you if you call this it is not modifying actually as you can see you can call directly by calling this and if you call this class dot uh, i that means it will call the global variable and it will be printed so let's check it out also this as you can see the global variable is not changing only the local variable is printing so you can access the global variable after you declared the, uh, the same name you can access the global variable class dot class name dot the variable name and if it will getting it will be getting the value of the global variable now moving to the next program what is happening actually over here you can see the output is 200 and 100 why is because i have defined one integer type of variable i and it's getting initialized by 100 and again the same concept of the previous program here i is the local variable to the main method and it's getting the value 200 so if we print that system.out.println i then the local variable will be printed here is pr getting printed the local variable and here is getting the variable of global variable okay so class name dot the uh, dot the variable name will be printing the global variable only okay moving to the next program this is also very simple i have defined one uh, static integer i equals to 10 and i'm printing that met that uh, value that is i and you can as you can see there is no local variable defined so you can just print in both ways you can directly print i or class name dot i you will be getting the both output the same output so you can see both are output are same 10 and 10 so this is optional when you use uh, operating global variable only when uh, you are declaring one same name variable you can access class name dot variable and if you are not declaring any local variable you can directly access that method uh, that variable sorry so this is the last program this is a little bit complex uh, so watch it carefully i have defined one class here so class g and one static integer that is i and i have defined one method that is also static and i'm printing i j k from the print method and i have defined one another static variable static in j and another variable static in k so kindly note that uh, the the declaration of the i variable is the first line of the class and after that print method after that j and after the main method i have defined k no matter wherever you declare the static uh, variables or static variables in the class it will it will be loaded first into the memory so it, it will be getting all the value uh, by default so it will it will su compile successfully and you will be getting all the values as uh, you have declared so here in the main method i have modified the value i j and k and i have then printed so it will print the modified value after that is delimiter and again i have modified i j k and again it will be printing so let's check it out yeah you can see that the modification uh, has happened and one two three we are getting from the test uh, print method and after that i j k is 100 so it will be all getting 100 so that's all for this uh, tutorial hope you like it and have a nice day